Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow. Wow. For $100, this is insane. I've paid five designers to design the same logo from the same brief, and let's see what they do. This video is sponsored by Framer. You guys absolutely loved the last few videos where I've paid five designers, so I thought I would do it again, but this time over Twitter. I put out this tweet asking for five logo designers for a new video, and I would fully pay them whatever they needed. So we picked five of them from this list. I've messaged them over on Twitter, and I gave them a very short deadline. We're gonna see if price makes a difference, and also to see what they do differently according to the brief. So the brief that I gave them was for a company called Steel Trap. It's not a real company, it's fake. And the brief says this, we are a company that develops new ways to learn by combining years of experience in the industry with a friendly face. Our main product is a website that you can use on the go and implements our cloud technology. Our target audience are millennials. We want to convey a sense of excitement while at the same time being businesslike. Create a logo using the information given in the brief. They would prefer a letter mark that uses the color yellow. The logo will be used on the company website. Take into account the company's values and preferences and make sure it will be work out for the planned use cases. So Shatanya, I hope I'm saying your name right. Let's see what you did. Okay, so you've given me a PDF presentation. Shatanya was $50 and she's given me this presentation. Let's zoom in and look around. The one thing I don't like is the PDF presentation that you've given just because it's very basic, but I understand it's $50 and you're showing you're working out. Now, what I love is the idea that you've sent all of your sketches in, I really like this. I love the amount of sketches that you've done. This is the process that I use all the time. And you're really filing down and niching down on each idea that you've got until you've picked the right one. I like it how you highlighted it as well. If you're a logo designer or someone who's trying to give a presentation to someone for a logo design, it's a good idea to show them the sketches, but maybe not like this, only show them a few. Although I'm a logo designer and I can tell that you've chosen this one here, a lot of other clients may look at this and go, oh, we like, you know, let's say this one over there. And they might force you to do the one that you don't wanna do. We go over here and you've got some other sketches that you like keep going down. I can see what you're doing with the S and the steel trap, very nice. And here, if we zoom out, we've got even more. So here are the vectored ideas here. So these are the concepts that you've come up with. And mind you, you didn't have like a long deadline. You had like a week or so to do this, so well done. Out of this, they seem a bit disjointed, some of these logos, I'm not gonna lie, but I can see the concepts coming through. As we go further down, you've chosen to add the color yellow in there, which is, I like that accent color, it works really well. You've given so many different examples here, so many different examples. I really like it. I like this one here with the S and the T, you've sort of monogrammed it. This one here is probably the best one for it. And I like it how you've got all the company descriptions in there. I don't personally like this one down here with the negative space because you see that line in there, I can understand why you've put it in there as like a trap and then also the barrier for the T. The problem is it's just, it looks a bit disjointed. It doesn't work as well as it should do. What I do like though is the typography. The R in it is a bit strange, but I like the composition of it. Only if you were to put the icon and scale it down just a, that little bit more, it would look perfect. But the yellow and the black look good together. You've shown how you've kerned it and you've shown the gridding process, which is nice. I like the gridding process. The positive space and the negative space. So here's something that everyone can learn from. The negative space needs to be the same width as the positive space for it to look consistent. Because right now, this little arm down here is a bit too thin. It needs to be thicker. This one, I'm glad you chose this one here rather than it. I think adding the color black in there doesn't really work. You want this to work on just a black and white because right now you kind of just need the color in there to see the yellow and the black. Let's keep going further down. I love the presentations that you're giving here. Overall, the best logo would, in my opinion, that you've sent in would be this one. But what I would do is just shorten this down so it's not so much of an S. I would just make it more concise. And you can do this by putting it inside of a square to make sure it fits inside that square. I love the typography idea. I think there are 
a few better typefaces that you could have used for it. But overall, I really love the work that you've put into it. This logo here does work, but when you scale it down, you won't be able to see that negative space. I love the fave Connor idea there. Looks very good. So again, well done for $50. This is amazing. The next person is Avelino and he is $100. Let's see what you did. So Avelino has given a full presentation as well. I do prefer this style of presentation because it is more of a keynote. So here we go. Steel Trap brand identity. I like the color already showing through there. Is that the logo? Cool company description, job description showing that you understand it is a great thing to do. First of all, the concept. What I'd love to see before this is the logo in its entirety, just so I can understand the concept page a bit more. But here we go, Steel Trap, ST plus Steel and Trap. That's clever. The company Steel Trap presents itself as a technological learning business. Its name means a trap made out of steel, but it can also be understood as an analogy to the sharpness of those traps. Ooh, you're going into there. Okay, this is what I like, the creative process. So let's see what you've done. So I love to see the sketches, the actual pictures of your sketching is really good. I like it how they're all gridded out, very simple. You've got the ideas there. And I like it how you've got this here as well, Steel Trap. Logo is born. Okay, so you're showing the grid and you're showing the logo in different frames, which is really important. I'm really liking this for $100. This is insane. So again, you've chosen the color yellow, which is good. I like that as part of the brief. What I love about this is it's symmetry and balance. As I was saying in the prior logo you have to be able to fit it into a box because it's going to be used as a fave con and it has to be balanced and if it's not balanced then it's going to look strange you've got a rounded frame here you've got like a normal sharp frame there and a circle and just the icon by itself it works in both positive and negative space it is all very consistent so you use jones it's a nice type secondary color is blue that is very good to have but i would have always suggested black Black is probably just the simplest and the best contrast to yellow, even though blue is a complementary color to yellow. This here, it would have worked so much better if it was just like cut out. So the blue wasn't on top of the yellow. Like this, this is the best example here. You've got a few kerning issues, which I'll always point out. It's very important. You see this ST eel, you know, you've got a bit of kerning issue there, with there, you know, there and a bit there. So you need to spend a bit more time kerning it correctly. It might take some time to do, to learn, but obviously it looks great. The logo, just spend more time on the kerning. It would look amazing. Don't like the blue one. It just looks too corporate for me. The black logo looks better, much better. Just get rid of that blue. The white logo looks great. I love the mock-up. <laughs> this is great as well. It looks quite industrious. That's the one thing I've got here. It might not look a millennial type but it looks very industrious millennials are kind of like obviously more minimal and less industrious but i do love the balance of it and i love this that you're showing oh wow this is actually really cool you're showing the app or the sign in looks really nice with all the brand assets in there with the logo inside showing the website in a real use case love that Dude, this is unreal. For anyone that wants to follow these guys and learn more about them, I'm gonna link them down below in the description. So for $100, that was pretty insane. Before I go into the next one, I just wanna thank the sponsor of this video, Framer. With the way the design industry is going, learning how to prototype is a no-brainer. Instead of putting flat files in front of your team, manager or client, imagine being able to hand them a prototype that's so good, it feels like a real app or website. The sponsor of today's video, Framer, is a no-code, free-to-use tool, making it easy for anyone to become a prototyper. The mission is to help you get closer to real. Create your own smart components complete with multiple states without code, drop in pre-built components with the insert menu and make your own delightful custom animations 100% visually. In just a couple of hours, you can have a new skill that helps you stand out from the crowd. Sign up for Framer for free at framer.com forward slash Will Patterson. The link is in the description below. The next one is from Robin and he was 150 pounds, which would be around about $200. Same brief, same everything. Robin, you've sent me, I think like 10 emails. A piece of advice, don't send multiple emails in different threads, just send it in one. This is gonna be hard to, uh, to show everyone. Okay, so here is the steel trap. So he sent me multiple images. Images. So this is very similar to one that we just looked at. And what I do like about this is the icon. Obviously, it could have been simplified a lot more, but it's not a bad logo at all. What I would suggest, though, is simplify it by just creating that infinite shape. I like the fact that it's got the S and the T in there. And obviously, the typography, you could have chosen something less industrious. What I wanted to see through this is whether it would be 
whether the designers would be more industrious, which means, you know, very brick and mortar with their typography, or whether they would follow more of the, what the brief is alluding to, which is a millennial, you know, type of bean bag. I don't want to go too much into it, but you know, a, a more soft work environment instead of the steel trap. You know, I want to get that word steel in there without it looking industrious. So I do like the idea of the icon, first of all. I like the mock-ups that you've shown. You've even given an app icon on there, which looks good. It's in gray and I don't like the gray there, but it kind of, you know, it works to an extent because it's yellow. So one piece of advice, Robin, just have all of this in one document. Make my life easier as well so you've made oh here you go so before i spoke too soon so robin did actually make a logo version with a sort of a serif slab serif typography in there which looks i personally i personally like that i mean it could look more modern than it is now i mean this typography does fit but there's a few errors within it i wouldn't have chosen this one specifically because obviously this it kind of looks like there's bits missing and you know it hasn't been properly designed the type not your fault but just to keep yourself aware of that so the only thing i would have really done robin with this logo specifically is i would have just simplified it i know you've got the t in there and the s and i think sometimes we can try to be too clever but scaling that down to when it's really small can we do that can we scale it really low down without the yellow it's very difficult to see and it looks like a lot going on so someone trying to recreate that by drawing it within a few seconds are going to find it really difficult because they know the overall shape but there's a lot of detail in the center to create that t if that makes sense so for 200 dollars, that's pretty good i really like that one just the execution part i would fix that the next one is vada and she was 150 $50. Let's see how she does. Okay, so first of all, I love the presentation in there. You've got your own brand in there. Really like it. Hey, thanks for the opportunity. Hope you like the logo. Really nice and lighthearted. Okay, so Steel Trap logo brief. I love the way that you've presented this. This is really nice. It's all gridded very well. So you've got, I think this is your mood board here. Potential competitors. You've got Skillshare all of these people for the competitors the mood board i love the idea of putting your mood board in there i don't think anyone's done that yet Ooh, that looks really cool so here is the main logo and this is from all of these logos that you've seen here i can see the vibe that you're going through and it looks really nice and clean i love this s and t you've just got the word in there you've not tried to make it into something that it's not it's not blocky or industrious it's millennial and i like that and that's what you've done really well i love the color there like the coral with the yellow this one here is nice the typography though looks a bit strange i kind of like how it's rounded but i don't at the same time clean type like this this is a lovely type this web page looks unreal. Oh, wow. I love the mock-ups that you've got. You've gone all out on this. This is seriously really good. I love how you're showing the stickers there, how the logo would work in real life, which is really important to do for certain clients. And I love how concise it is. It looks really good. The only thing I would love to see within this one specifically is steel, like the actual logo type being more of this typography here because it would look so much better with the icon on top and also maybe even like condensing the icon even a little bit like squidge it from the sides just because it always looks better when it's squidged from the sides it needs to fit like more of a square for it to work at a small level right now it looks nice it has a lot of racing car vibes for it which you might understand but honestly this is really good now the fifth designer was a bit late in sending his work and um, because i filmed it today we're gonna have to put them onto another project. So you'll see the fifth designer in a later video with a new brief. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please press that red subscribe button. And if you'd like to take part in one of these videos that we're doing here, then make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to YouTube so you never miss out. And so you can also be a part of it when I announce it on one of my socials. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Goodbye.